Alright guys, and welcome back to another one of Mr. E's Arc Adventures. And on today's episode, we're going to be looking at taming pen designs. I believe last episode we rafted towards uh, the mosh pit on the west side of the island. Let's take our pterodon. Fly overhead, see what we got. Ooh, we got an alpha in the area. Like that, we got Argents on the left. Whole bunch of stuff on the left. Alright, let's get back to base. So for taming pens, first we're going to look at the Argent taming pen. This guy, that happened to crawl in front of the boat, is a trilobite. You see these? You want to harvest it. These things are really, really useful. Let's see, we're just hitting the pipe for now. Oil, chitin, pearls, you can even get black pearls, which is the, the go-to to get an island. So as with most <coughs> meters, they're very hostile. So I'm going to build this away from the boat so they don't aggro onto my own creatures. Alright, so an Argent Taming Pen. Real simple. You're going to make yourself... Eight stone foundations. You're gonna build two fence foundations, two dino gates, two doors, and about 35 stone door frames. Now, in order to build one of these, real easy, you're gonna do a 2x4. And that's all you need. A 2x4. After that, you're gonna place your two stone fence foundations on each of the edges. See, I place one right here, and I place one on the opposite side. This is so we can align the stone dino gate onto it. Hassle free. Whoops. Just like that. I'm gonna fill in the doors. And then you're gonna go up to the top of those stone dino gates with door frames. And the reason for door frames is so you can shoot through them. It looks like we built too many, so... I'm gonna recycle a few. Now we need to build eight stone ceilings to place onto the top. And that will take care of the dino pen. The Argent Taming Pen. My apologies. We need some more stone, so let's just grab some right over here. Now we got those eight spitting up. And that right there is the basic design of a Argent Taming Pen. 
You can only tame one flyer in it at a time. But nothing against building multiple and taming multiple at once. Alright, so you see how it's a little too low there? You're gonna jump, and then tap the right trigger when it raises. I'll do it with this side too. From right here? Get the, I usually stand right at the center beam. Where they crisscross. Then I jump, and hit the trigger. And boom, it places. Same right there. You're gonna probably have to do this for each one. But, done correctly, it will look like this. And now you have an enclosed Argent Taming Pen. You could technically tame anything in this, if you really wanted to. Just lure it in the front door, run out one of the sides, close it. Nice and easily talked about. Now let's do it. For this, I'm going to sacrifice my Pterodon, for I do not see me using it once I have an Argent. I can be a little draconic with my creatures. If they perish, they perish. It's not... It's, I don't keep a lot of my creatures normally. I got too many to begin with. So. Honestly, at this point, any Argent would do. But you're gonna want someone that is... Decent. You don't want to just tame uh, garbage. See, that's why they call it the mosh pit. Everything is just going at it right there. Fortunately, I think those hyenodons are gonna wreck them. You're the level 80. If I can lure you over to my pen, you're worth it. Not a bad color either. As you can see, there's a uh, Alpha Raptor near the taming pen. So we definitely want to be wary of him. Come on, Argent. Follow the tasty pterodon. Let's go. Alpha Raptor is a little worried, but not too, too much. As long as we keep this Argent following us, that Raptor shouldn't be a problem. Keyword shouldn't be. Alright, Mr. Argent, follow me into this wonderful little trap we're gonna lure you in. Oh, it's like you have to go by accident. Oops. Taming goes wrong. <laughs> Come on, Argent. There we go. Couple of hiccups in the process, but the point is, it's in the pen. <laughs> Perfect time to need to eat. I can heal a little bit with that. Now, the pterodon shouldn't be able to handle some of this. It's a pretty decent level. There we go. The Argent's starting to run. Normally in the wild, these would fly away and you're never gonna tame it. It's a real pain in the butt to try to tame these wild. But since they're easy to lure, you just bring it into these taming pans and boom, you have one. <clears throat> Makes it real nice and easy. Alright. It looks like the Pterodon survived it too, so we're gonna stuff meat into the Argent. Grab our Pterodon. Go back to the boat for a moment with it. Let it sit back and relax. Good job, Pterodon.
Now that Alpha Raptor's a worry, so we're gonna have to keep an eye on him. Let's see. Learn the Argent Saddle. It's around 67, I believe. Uh, 62. Need some more hide. That's fine. First bite of the arch it usually takes quite a bit. But once it starts eating it picks up. Gather some knuckleberries just in case we need to torpor it a little more. Oh wow. Yeah, we're not gonna need to give it berries. The Alpha Rap is still munching on it over there. He's been going for a good few minutes now. He can just stay over there for now. <laughs> Taming in an open area like this, you want to keep alert. Because even a simple Dilo could come up and start munching on it. That's why you see me looking around quite constantly. ourselves a saddle. I guess we can put points into levels finally. There we go. Say, once we get ourselves a real good Argent, it could even carry over into Scorched Earth. We could be using it for Wyvern Egg Hunting for, at first. This one won't make that, but this one will help us start off. Still going over there, huh?
still going at it, huh? Keep looking around the perimeter. This is where spike walls would come in handy. If you get a real good tame in a pen, just spike wall off the entrances, and you're set. You can literally just sit inside the taming pen, and babysit it. One more feed, he'll be done. Good. Oh, Alpha Raptor left its location. Looks like he's chasing the... Nothing. <laughs> Sawed off, Alpha Raptor. This team is almost done. Turned out to be a 119, so that's not too bad. We can utilize this one to carry tames into a pen. Alright, Alpha Raptor has left my uh, vision, so we are at the mercy of Ark now. I'm a little tiffy, so we may not be able to fly, so we'll just leave out this door. Come on, Argent. Take your last bite. My arc senses are tingling. I feel like danger is right around the corner. few more points and then it should take its next bite. Keep looking at the food meter, because once it hits 35.50 for food, it's going to take a bite. There we go. Alright, Mr. Arjun, let's get you the heck out of here. Drop all the extra stuff I don't need now. Yeah, I definitely can't ride it yet. Come on, Arjun, let's go. And that's pretty much all there is to an Argent taming pen. It's a real simple build. Anywhere that Argent spawned, you could build one, lure it in. If you're worried about defense, just put spiker walls around the openings. And you have a safe way to tame Argents. Feels good to be on an Argent again. Man, I miss my level. My radioactive Argent. It's like a black and green one. It's pretty cool. But he's chilling safely on Rag. So now that we have an Argent, the next thing we want to try to tame is a Dodicarus. So for now, we're going to drop off our resource. Lessen the weight. We need what? More arrows? Absolutely. Let's get some of those crafting up real quick. 
kind of have to stand on the fire and uh, cook myself. Let's see. Crap up all 350 of that. Let's see. Oh, it feels so good to fly around on the Argent again. Once you get to the Argent phase of Ark, it changes the whole game. Just treat your Argent not good, take care of it, and don't let it die on you. And you can go pretty far with this thing. Oh, look at that, there's a Rex over there. Interesting, 230, oh wow. I definitely don't have the supplies to tame you yet, but eventually. Beautiful thing with the mosh pit, there's stuff spawns here all the time. Hostile, not so hostile. The Dodicarus that I spoke of earlier can spawn here. Scout in the field real quick, see if we can't find one. Whenever you're flying, you really want to pay attention to your stamina. Since if your stamina depletes, you will, uh, land. It will straight up force you to land. And if you're too high in the air, you have to jump off your creature mid-flight to land. I don't see any. I see Yankees, but no Dodicarus yet. That's fine. We at least got the Argent today. Got a taming pen up and running. We can use that one continuously. There's the boat base. carry a little bit. So this way nothing can get on the boat. I'm gonna turn it. <laughs> Don't believe I'll be back on for a few days. The servers never stop, so you really want to make sure stuff is protected. So I'm actually gonna park these guys right out here. And I'm gonna do one more thing for them. Since I have a few creatures on the boat now, let's see if I learned it. gonna build a feed trough. This will keep them fed as long as we fill it with the proper food. Mm. For the moment we can place it right here. It ain't gonna stay there permanently. Let's see. Grab the Argent's meat. Grab the berries from the trike. Grab all the creatures' foods, they can all contribute to the bucket. Excuse me, Argent, I just wanna go down. Place all that in there, and that should last for quite a bit. Close up all the doors. Alright guys, sorry about the constant on-offs of the Twitch, but this is the way I create the episodes. I don't have all that fancy software yet. So... I think that's gonna cut this episode today. We've got ourselves a... Whoop, there we go. Got ourselves an Argent. Made a taming pen. And next episode, we'll be working on the main base. So thank you guys for watching, like always, and have a great day.